All right, what's going on there, folks? Uh, good afternoon, good early evening to some out there. It is your Earth Master here on this President's Day, Monday, uh, February 21st, 2022. A lot of twos there in that uh, date. About 3.40 p.m. California time, latest quake on the globe shows a 3.2 earthquake out in the area of the um, United Kingdom area. Let's go ahead and check out that movement here on the latest map here from the USGS. There's also another earthquake showing up on the seismograph station. So you can see it showing up there on the bottom left side from an earthquake down south, well south of Australia. Uh, one report coming in as a 6.0 earthquake. USGS has not picked up that earthquake activity yet, so we're waiting on them. Uh, looking at the movement over here around the UK, shows that 3.2 earthquake right outside of the Birmingham area. Look at that, 3.2 at 10 kilometers. Uh, some unusual activity taking place here to the west, following this large push of movement here from the uh, Pacific Place West uh, Pacific Plate westward. Uh, looks like a few folks did report filling it. Uh, historical regional information here far as general seismic activity does not show a whole lot of large-scale movement looks like to the west here there was uh, at least within uh, since about 1900 or so looks like 4.5 to 5.0 magnitude uh, within the Birmingham area looks like uh, getting back here to the USGS map show some further activity that we've been watching uh, kick up here around China as well with a 4.6 all sorts of movement ramping up here along the Pacific Plate, folks, with a major uptick in movement westward. Uh, the reason why I say westward is because of the plate, general plate movement here at the Philippine Plate and the Pacific Plate all shooting to the west. There's a couple other uh, subduction zones here. Now, yellow, or at least on this end, it looks kind of yellowish, uh, is the Pacific Plate. And you got all sorts of uh, little smaller plates here to the west, but this is the Philippine Plate. Uh, that's heading to the west, creating the subduction zone here and the major subduction zone, the Kurokamchaka and Japan Trench in this region. The Mariana Trench sits around here. But the accumulated stress rates are much stronger over here on this part of the Pacific, of the uh, Philippine Plate and up here to the north. So these are the areas we've got to watch with all this large-scale movement. Uh, not to mention now with the earthquake activity south here of the uh, Australian uh, Australia con uh, uh, country, Along the Australian plate, uh, we've seen that earthquake activity here. I'm still waiting on it. Let me show you guys real quick the um, EMSC model. I believe these guys are showing it. Originally came in as a 6.0. Uh, from them, it may have got downgraded. Let me see what these folks are reporting here on the map. Uh, stand by for one second. These guys, there we go. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. So uh, what do we got way down here? See this? 5.9 so it looks like they may have downgraded this a little bit there to 5.9 and it won't even let me click on it there but uh there we go oh now see these guys are reporting a 6.6 and that's very possible very very possible the reason why there we go 6.6 .6 earthquake the reason why i was going to say it looked much stronger on the live seismograph stations than uh than a 5.9 so uh yeah 6.6 .6 earthquake coming in to the, uh, what is that, the Balani Islands region. Haven't seen too much earthquake activity out there in quite a while. Let's go ahead and check out the U.S. Tsunami Warning Center just to verify uh, nothing coming in from these folks here in regards to that earthquake or any subsequent uh, tsunami. Uh, but pretty shallow earthquake well off the plate boundary here. Looking at the plate boundary to see where we're at, kind of at the... Uh, bottom of the Pacific and the Australian plate on this map right here and the general movement here looks to be at least to the south on the Antarctica plate that's pretty crazy here that's some uh, pretty large scale movement within that region 6.6 I want to see uh, exactly if there's any historical data out here I don't believe there is any look at that that's a pretty odd quake uh, not saying there really hasn't been, but, but according to the USGS map here, nothing above the 4.5 threshold within this region. Looks like maybe over here to the west, a little 4.5, but this could be like one of the larger quakes uh, in this area. Well up along the plate boundary of the Pacific and the Antarctic plate and the Australian plate, yes, obviously a lot of large-scale movement 
But uh, inland like this, it's kind of a little on the odd side. Something brewing, folks, and I think we can uh, all agree that there's definitely something major happening here with all this increased pressure here along the western part of the Pacific Ring of Fire. A lot, lot of large-scale deep movement into the area of the Kurokamchaka and the Japan Trench and specifically right around the Philippine Plate. So we've got to watch this area pretty closely here around the Philippines. Uh, seen a lot of large-scale movement, lots of fives kicking off here over the last 24 hours. I can't recall the last time I've seen this much earthquake activity ramp up here along the Pacific Plate. Uh, just something. Something is looking likely here very soon, folks. So we're going to keep a, a very close eye on it. Uh, I know Mount Etna kind of popped up here a little bit. Uh, this article was put out today with uh, a little article here in Rome. Mount Etna has roared back to life. Spectacular action after a few months of relative quietness. Sending up a 12-kilometer high volcanic ash cloud over eastern uh, uh, Sicily area. Lava flow from Etna, one of Europe's most active volcanoes, was centered around the crater on the mountain's southeast slope, Italy's National Institute of Geophysics and Volcanology said on Monday. There were no, report, uh, no immediate reports of injuries or property damage. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on. It's very possible we could see some further uh, volcanic action here along the uh, Tonga Trench area. And uh, pretty much anywhere, we need to be watching it pretty closely. Not only for large-scale movement, but uh, some possible volcanic eruptions there uh, coming up. Uh, let me look at the plate boundaries here once again. So we got to look at this very closely with the westward movement. Right now, the eastern part of the Pacific Ring of Fire is very quiet. Look at this over here. So I don't think we're going to see activity really ramp up too much here along the west coast uh, or the South America area for that much uh, for that reason unless we see a complete halt of activity here with the pacific plate moving to the west uh, pressure i believe is greatest here along this region increasing over here along the western part of the philippine plate and areas to the west up around this bend uh, is a, another area that could be looking at some large-scale movement we haven't seen too much activity here in the java trench area and that area is under a uh, an extreme a lot of stress here as well um, let's go over here and look, you gotta, you gotta look at these plates here and the movement, general movement here. So we got all this westward movement. Let's zoom in a little bit so you, maybe you guys can see a little bit better here. Got a lot of westward movement from the Pacific plate. That's obvious in today's earthquake activity. Uh, sorry about that. I was looking at a uh, text message coming in there. Kind of an important one. Um, so we got, yeah, a lot of westward movement, a lot of eastward pressure movement here from the Eurasia plate, right? So putting all this area under quite a bit of extreme stress. The Java Trench area up around here, you got the Australian plate um, creating that uh, region here, that subduction zone up against the Eurasia plate, kind of where the uh, Java Trench region is up here. So that's, uh, this whole area is just like a hot spot of potential large movement today uh, with what's going on here um, with the entire the entire westward pressure movement of the Pacific plate that makes sense hopefully you guys can look at that and see the general direction here of the uh, the plate systems so a whole lot happening today folks I don't believe we're over with the six pointers today that's a pretty good start but uh, even then I think that's just an impending sign of some further uh, large-scale activity coming here uh, very soon uh, so once again, 6.6, Balony Islands area, uh, Mount Etna shown pretty uh, active uh, activity today. West coast remains relatively quiet, folks. And like I said, that should remain that way for quite some time. Look at all that earthquake activity. That's a lot. We're not going to go through it all right now. Just wanted to get this update video out on the 6.6. We will be back later this evening, folks, with a complete update video unless something drastic happens. Uh, until then, we'll catch you guys on the update video tonight. Peace out, everyone. Stay safe.